Shannon Morris with DuckCon 30 here, and I am over at the Blue Team Village. I am so excited to speak to awesome. both of you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. Um, I am very, very new to Blue Teaming, and I think that speaks true of how people look at things like blue teaming and red teaming as a, a kind of having a barrier to entry. Mm -hmm. And I would love to chat with you today about how the blue team village is really, really welcoming to folks that want to get into this and are not really sure how. Right. So for anybody watching this, um, join our online community on Discord. Uh, there is no barrier to entry. We don't care if you've been doing it for 10 years or if just yesterday you read something interesting and you think InfoSec might be right for you. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, that concept pervades everything we do. So this year, uh, one of the programs, uh, one of the many programs we have is something we call Obsidian uh, and we're providing uh, content for, for blue teamers. Uh, and we could talk a little bit about Obsidian later, but we're oh, providing yeah. the content, the raw content for people to learn join the community, have conversations, instead of just one class, yeah. have ongoing conversations, and then even within the program itself. So we have leaders in Obsidian, we have people, analysts doing the work. If you're brand new and you want to be on the project, we're saying come in, be the next group of people to do this next year or the year after. So constant training is yeah. something that is just, it's built into our DNA. And this is something that absolutely has no barrier to entry. It's it's free of charge. Free of charge. Anybody can go into the village. Tools are open source. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. And where can people find out more about how they can get access to the Blue Team Village assets? Right, so there's a couple places. You, you can start at uh, blueteamvillage.org, our website. Most of the other ways of getting to information are mm -hmm. there. But if you want to get the data, the Obsidian data, uh, that's at media.blueteamvillage.org. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we will be posting all of the talks on YouTube. Uh, not all of the talks, but all of the pre-recorded talks mm -hmm. will be on YouTube. And we'll be providing all of the slide decks on our uh, GitHub repo. Oh, perfect. I'm so happy to everything, hear that. Everything we've done, everything, nothing's held back. It all goes back to the community. I love that about DEF CON. Like, everything here is very community driven. Everyone is so excited to be here. I've noticed throughout the couple of days, your village is packed. There was a line out the door the other day. It was almost impossible for me to get in there and ask for an interview. Right. <laughs> and it's wonderful to see so many people interested. Um, another thing I've noticed is how red teaming tends to get a lot of popularity. It's mm -hmm. very, very interesting because people love to be on the attack. But blue teaming is defensive. You, it, It's extremely important, especially to, to careers. It's lucrative for people to get into. Yeah. I would love to chat about the importance of Blue Team Village as well, and Blue Teaming in general. Okay, great. Well, I've talked a lot, so. <laughs> I'll take over. Hi, Becky. Right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I'm personally, I'm, I am like pure, pure Blue Teamer, which I mean, my hair, my glasses. Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if you couldn't village. tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've got, I get that, I get that comment sometimes. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think it's kind of. We have, you know, we always have like a joking rivalry with uh, with Red Team Village, and you know, we wouldn't, neither of us would be here without the other. Like, exactly. We can't have Red exactly. Teamers without Blue Teamers and vice versa. And um, you know, a lot of the content that we provide is, to be honest, I think it's really what convinces employers to send their folks to DEF CON to learn. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you know, once once they have a connection to content that they actually can apply to work in their real lives, then everything else is kind of getting deeper and deeper and deeper into you know tooling and tactics mm -hmm. and, and, um, and technology in general. Um, so we also, Blue Team Village runs year round. We have an active Discord community. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, one of the things that we do that, um, that we started a couple years ago was a mentor program. So Meet a Mentor basically wow. is, um, we have a you know mentor matching. We do panels. We'll do like wow. kind of um, mini workshops and things like that. We That's run, awesome. We run lightning talks. We give people a chance to pre to present for the first time to a small community, mm -hmm. um, and you know and and that we've helped people get jobs. I mean, mm -hmm. just from that from connections, from resume reviews, things like Yay, that. Yeah, that's amazing. You know, I I really think that you know 
red teaming is great, but blue teaming is kind of where where we can connect passion and learning with actual industry and employment, which, you know, yeah. unfortunately we all need money to, <laughs> to live, so. <laughs> we do. <laughs> so it's kind of a, a core a piece of that as well. You mean I have to buy groceries? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, have, I have to pay my mortgage? Come on. <laughs> Now, I also would love to mention the CTF that's running this weekend. Mm -hmm. Tell me all about it. So uh, we, we kind of looked at, uh, with a Project Obsidian, um, just to give a real quick overview of it, it is we created a fictitious company. Uh, in, it's all in AWS. Oh. We staffed it with fi fictitious, uh, fictitious employees. Mm -hmm. They send each other email, and then we had a red team come in and do three different compromises. We call them Kill Chain 1, Kill Chain 2, and Kill Chain 3. Nice. Right? That's so cool. all of the content that we have uh, is based on that. Okay. It, d digital forensics, mm -hmm. incident response, threat hunting, cyber threat intelligence, wow. and malware reverse engineering. Whoa, all wow. looking at the same data so that if you do, if you come here and you're interested in incident response and then you think, well, I'd like to know a little about malware reverse engineering, mm -hmm. you already have the background. That's right? awesome. So yeah. that is the CTF. The CTF is really all of that content just put into a CTF. So if you go to the talks, if you download the data, if you do the analysis yourself, if you talk in the community, you're doing the CTF. That's and, so cool. And then you can get on the CTF, enter your answers, in you know typical CTF form. But the idea is it's all the same data, mm -hmm. it's all preventing having to relearn the 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 compromise or the or the project, make the project central and then just yeah. look at it five different ways. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate that you're making this so easy for people to get into. Blue teaming is so important to infrastructure, to agency, to, to home networks, to pretty much everything in this world. Right. It's something that we definitely need and we need more people getting into it as their careers. No <laughs> doubt about it. And uh, just to add on top of that, you have people that may never even know that yeah. this is available to them. Absolutely. So by saying, we don't care who you are. We don't care where you come from. We yes. need people. Yes. Come join us. Be a part of the conversation. Yes. We can reach people that may not, are not reachable in, through other other means. And to end this interview, let's I'm mention gonna... let's mention the badge because the badge looks really cool. It is. It is really cool. I know we, it's sold out now, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. So actually, yes, I actually don't is. have an ex a good example of the the regular one. We have yeah. a staff version. It has a little e ink screen. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the the other one we made uh, is it's the same board. So nice big blue team village. It's our fifth anniversary. Cool. So we went big with everything. Congratulations! <laughs> That's so cool. Um, got some blinky lights in there. SAO connectors. It. I mean, I'm I'm just overwhelmed by how great response we got to it, you know, into mm -hmm. little SAOs and, you know, people, I mean, really people come to DEF CON for the swag, right? Like, oh, yeah. totally. Like, I mean, lights. I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I come to, for, for there's f several things I come for. It's um, work, because <laughs> I do threat wire. It's uh, meeting all, all my friends and yeah. bringing home as many electronic badges that I can get my hands on. 100%. 100%, yes. <laughs> but and going to the villages. We'll, we'll make more <laughs> next year. We'll definitely be back next year and we'll bring all the swag and blinky lights that we possibly can. And Absolutely. Well, I know, I know you mentioned it earlier, but where can people find out more? Uh, so blueteamvillage.org is based for everything. Um, it has a link to our active Discord community. We are year-round, like I mentioned. Uh, awesome. The Metro Program link is there. The Project Obsidian uh, information is there as Everything's well. There. You can get to everything from blueteamvillage.org. And uh, we're on Twitter at, at blueteamvillage. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining me today. Thank I appreciate you. chatting with both of you. Now go have some more fun. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>